we will get started in a seated position at the top of your mat. The only thing I'm gonna recommend having today are maybe a couple blocks at the top. So when you're ready, just come to a cross-legged position, whichever leg is comfortable in front of the other. And just really begin to root down through your tailbone. You can close your eyes here. And starting to tune into the breath, noticing the rise and the fall of your chest on your inhales and your exhales. Maybe see if you can make your breath a little bit louder and only focus on that. We'll begin with three breaths together. Exhale out all the still air in your belly, open mouth release. Deep, full belly inhale. Open mouth, let it go. Two more, just like that, deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. One last full, deep inhale. Open up to release. On your next inhale, draw your hands up through center to touch. And on your exhale, twist over to the right. It's your left hand coming to the outer edge of your right knee. Right hand coming back behind you. Using your inhale to lengthen through your spine. And your exhale to twist a little deeper, maybe gazing over your right shoulder if that feels comfortable. Breathing here. Inhale, arms come up through center to touch. And your exhale, twisting over to the left. Right hand connects to the outer edge of your left knee. Lengthening through the spine and maybe gazing over your left shoulder. Keeping both sit bones planted. We're gonna flow through that. Inhale, arms come up to touch, palms to me. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, palms to touch above. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, palms to touch. Exhale to the right. Inhale up through center. Exhale to the left. One more round. Inhale, palms to touch. Exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, center. And exhale to the left. Inhale, bring your palms to touch one last time. On your exhale, fold forward. Really grounding through your sit bones. Let your shoulders relax here. Relaxing through the shoulders, the neck, and the head. Allow gravity to pull you down towards the earth. Lengthening in through your spine. Maybe curl your fingertips a little bit further forward. Feeling your vertebrae expanding. And slowly begin to crawl your hands back towards your shins, bringing yourself into a tabletop position. Shoulders are stacking over your wrists, hips over your knees. Right away, inhale to drop the belly, lift your gaze, cow pull, pose, really pull your heart forward. Exhale, cat chin to chest, rounding through your spine, gazing towards your navel. Really press the tops of your feet into your mat. Inhale, cow, pulling your heart forward. Exhale to cat. Inhale, cow, lengthen as you lift. Exhale, cat, press your mat away. Take a few more rounds of this on your own. Allowing the rest of your body and your spine to warm up. Adding in any extra movement here that feels good to you. Taking about three more full rounds of breath.
Kneeing back in a tabletop together. Tuck your toes underneath, hovering tabletop. Knees are hovering about one inch from your mat. Pull your low belly up and in. Press down through your hands. Feeling the space between your shoulder blades spreading out. Notice where your breath is and see if you can steady your inhales and your exhales. Couple more breaths. Hands come one palm print forward and lift up into your first downward facing dog. Right away, take movement, pedaling in and out of the feet, warming up your hamstrings. Find some stillness in your down dog. Really press through your fingertips, heels actively reaching down towards your mat. Take an inhale and a deep exhale. Feet walk to your hand, meeting in a right dog. Take your time to get there. Head and neck are heavy. Bringing your hands to opposite elbows. Option to gently sway side to side. Really allow the crown of your head to draw you down towards the earth. Releasing any tension that you're still holding on to. Give your head a shake yes and no. Slowly one vertebrae at a time, rising to stand. Meeting in mountain pose, Tadasana. Head is the last thing to rise. Reach up nice and tall through your fingertips. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, Tadasana, reach tall. Exhale, forward fold, chest to thighs, head and neck are heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, step back to plank. Keeping your shoulders over your wrists, Take an inhale and exhale, shot around the lower halfway or less option to drop to your knees here. Upward facing dog. Only your palms and tops of your feet are touching your mat. Pull your shoulders back as your heart comes forward. Down dog, picking up the movement here. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise to Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, long spine. Step back to plank. Flow through your version of a vinyasa. Option to skip vinyasas at any time. We'll take one more round to build heat. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise, Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank and flow through a vinyasa. We'll meet in a downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, low lunge right away. Right foot steps in between your hands. Really pull your left heel to the back of the room. Take an inhale and exhale, grounded twist. Left hand plants, right arm reaches up high towards the sky. Still pulling your right hip in towards your midline and pressing your left heel back. See if you can reach your right hand a little bit higher. Continue to breathe. Take an inhale here, and exhale to side plank, grounding through your left hand, the outer edge of your left foot. You can go through a high plank and then open up. Always an option to drop your left knee down here for support. Reach up high with your right hand. See if you can pull your hips a little bit higher. Come through a high plank, take an inhale, 
Three-legged dog, right leg rises. Low lunge, right foot steps in between your hands. Inhale to rise up, crescent warrior. Both toes pointed forward, back heel is lifted. See if you can pull your right hip back a little bit and your left hip forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, right arm sweeps back for a twist. Soften through your right shoulder, reach back through your right hand, and still reach through your left fingertips. Take an inhale. Exhale to warrior two. Left foot spins down and bend in on your knee a few times. Adjust as needed and find stillness. Side angle. Right arm, forearm comes to the inside of your knee and reach your left hand to the front of the room. Open up through your left shoulder pressing equally through all four corners of both feet. Reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Right leg stays nice and bent. Low lunge, hands from your right foot. Step back to plank and flow through a vinyasa or knee to sitting downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps in between your hands. Press your right heel back. Take an inhale. And exhale to grounded twist. Right hand plants reach up nice and tall through your left hand. Still pulling your left thigh in towards your midline. Trying to stack your shoulders. Take an inhale. And exhale to side plank. Grounding through your right hand and the outer edge of your right foot, reaching through your left fingertips. See if you can pull your left hip a little bit higher. Come through a high plank. Three-legged dog, left leg right, let's take an inhale. Exhale to low lunge. Rise up, crescent warrior. Both toes pointed forward. Reach up nice and tall, biceps by your ears. Take an inhale, and exhale, left arm sweeps back for a twist. Still bending into your left knee as you reach through your left fingertips. Breathe. Open up, warrior two. Right foot plants, reach through all 10 fingers. Maybe you need to bend in and out of your front knee a few times. Side angle. Left forearm to the inside of your left knee. Reaching through your right hand to the front of the room. Using your elbow to maybe press open your thigh a little bit. Staying engaged. Reverse your warrior. Reach up the back with your left hand. Low lunge, hands from your left foot. Step back to plank, downward facing dog. We're going to move through that one breath to one movement. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, low lunge. Grounded twist, left hand plants, right arm reaches up high. Take an inhale. And exhale to side plank on your left side. Reach up high through your right hand. Take an inhale. Exhale to high plank. Three-legged dog, right leg rises, take an inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale to rise, crescent warrior. Open arm twist, right arm sweeps back. Open up, warrior two. Side angle, right arm comes to the inside of your right knee, reach forward with your left hand. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, low lunge, hands for your right foot. Step back to downward facing dog. On the left side, inhale, left leg rises. Exhale to low lunge. Grounded twist, right hand plants, left arm reaches up high. Take an inhale. Exhale to side plank. Grounding through your right hand to your right foot, reach up high with your left hand just here for a moment. Take an inhale. Exhale to high plank. 
Three-legged dog, left leg rises, low lunge. Inhale to crescent. Exhale, open arm twist, left arm sweeps back. Open up warrior two. Side angle, reaching forward with your right hand. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Hands turn your left foot, step back to plank, then option of flow through a vinyasa. Coming to a down dog. Inhale, right leg rises, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow shift forward. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale to low lunge. One leg toss and up. Left knee draws in towards your chest. Maybe you take a couple steps to get there. Once you're here, square your hips off. Reach up high to the sky. Take an inhale. Exhale, left arm sweeps to the back of the room for a twist. See if you can keep your left foot flexed. Continue to breathe. Come back to a one-legged tadasana. Take an inhale here. And exhale, warrior three. Take your time as you ground through your right foot and kick your left heel to the back of the room. Try to keep your biceps next to your ears, creating a capital letter T with your body. Square in your left hip down. From warrior three, moving into half moon. Great place for a block. Right hand comes to the block or to your mat. As you begin to open up through your left hip, squaring it off, and keeping your foot nice and flexed. Once you find your stability, then reach your left hand up towards the sky. Continue to use a steady breath. See if you can open up just a little bit more. From your half moon, slowly step back to a warrior two, bending into your right knee, landing nice and strong. Inhale, put your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Low lunge, hands bring your right foot, step back to plank, and flow through a vinyasa if you wish. From your downward facing dog, left leg rises, three legged dog, take an inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow shift forward. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Find the stability in your left foot and come into a one legged tadasana. Maybe you draw, drag your right toes until they meet your left foot and then you reach your leg up. Reach up through your fingertips, take an inhale, then exhale, open arm twist. Trying to keep your right leg exactly where it is as you open up through your chest and shoulders. Focus on grounding all four corners of your left foot into your mat. And come back to your one legged tadasana. Take an inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Kicking your right heel back as you find your balance through your left foot. Try to draw your biceps next to your ears. You can always bring your hands to heart center to help balance. Try to keep your neck nice and long. Slowly begin to transition into a half moon. Focus on grounding through your left foot, making the connection of your left hand to a block to the earth, and then opening up through your right hip. Keeping your foot nice and flexed. Gaze can be wherever is comfortable for your neck. See if you can open up just a little bit more. And slow with control, step back to warrior two. Bending into your left knee, 
Right foot connects to the mat. Inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Then exhale, low lunge. Hands for your left foot. Step back to plank and flow through your final vinyasa. Or you can meet as an downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, right leg rises. Open up your hip, coming into pigeon. Right knee to your right wrist. Untucking your toes once you land. Inhale to lift your heart and lift your chest. And exhale to slowly fold down. You can stay lifted here if that feels good. Or you can slowly begin to bring your forehead down to your mat. Using props here to help you. You're finding some tightness in your right hip. You can always bring a block underneath to help support your body. And while you're here, really see if you can let go. Let go of the breath. Let go of any thoughts or any tension. Just allow yourself to be. Slowly begin to exit, lifting your heart up towards the front of the room, eventually tucking your left toes underneath, and come back to a three-legged dog, opening up through your hip, take any counter movements you need, and we'll all make that knee down dog, and the left leg rises, open up your hip, coming into pigeon on the side, left knee to your left wrist. Pulling your shin through. Inhale to lift the heart, lift your chest. Then exhale to come down. Trying to soften through all the areas of your body. Letting gravity do its work. more rounds of breath. When you're ready, begin to exit your sleeping pigeon. Tucking right toes underneath, lifting the left leg nice and high, taking any counter movements here. And we will be meeting it on our back, so however you'd like to get there. Drawing your knees into your chest. Giving yourself a nice big hug. We're going to take one round of back bends. Pressing your heels down into your mat. We will be taking bridge here. So palms coming next to your hips. Pulling your feet in as close as you can. Take an inhale. Lifting up into bridge. Really press your shoulders, the tops of your arms, your palms into your mat. As you press up to your heels, lift your hips a little bit higher. 
If you'd like to take wheel nuts in your practice, you can take that now. Maybe you roll your shoulders under a little underneath. Palms come to touch. Opening out through the chest and shoulders just a little bit more. side to side. Knees go right to left. And once you feel good here, then you can draw your knees back into your chest. And allow your legs to fall over to the left for a gentle spine twist. Knees stacking on top of one another. Arms can come out to a T or to goal post arms. You can always bring your left hand to the outer edge of your right knee and maybe gazing over your right shoulder. Finding a calm breath, allowing your body to naturally reset. Inhale to draw your legs through center. And exhale, allow your legs to fall to the right. Taking whatever arm variation feels good. And gazing where it's comfortable. Center and bring yourself into the happy baby. Hands can come to the insides of your feet or the outsides. And take a yogi grip here. Really pulling your elbows down as you press your heels up towards the sky. And straighten one leg, maybe the other, or gently swing side to side. Taking any last movements you need here to close out your practice. more rounds of breath wherever you're at. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Take a deep inhale and exhale to release to Shavasana. Allowing your feet to fall open. Palms facing up towards the ceiling. Allowing your body to fully connect to your mat. Letting go and giving yourself these last few moments. Slowly begin to invite awareness back into your body. Wiggling fingers, toes, wrists, and ankles. And when you're ready to find full movement again, take a full body stretch. Really pointing through your toes. Reach your hands up nice and tall over your head. You can stay here. 
or roll to one side for a brief moment into a fetal position. Taking this time to thank yourself for showing up onto your mat. Dedicating time to yourself, to your practice. And slowly press yourself up into a seated position at the top of your mat. Keeping your eyes gently closed. Palms meeting at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Ending our practice with one final community breath. Exhale all the stale air in your belly, open mouth release. Deepest inhale of your day. Oh, then I'll let it go. Option to draw your thumbs to your thoracic center if you so choose. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with myself, with everyone else who has joined us. The light in me honors the light inside of each and every one of you. Namaste.